Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Energy's here, you're not ready to the land. Energy's more rough than a big land. Energy's more than never been man. Energy's mad, don't mess with them. Certain things in life are all just that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Um, as you can see in front of you, the fire team. Uh, I plan on doing a couple of makeovers and upgrades to it. So, just to give you guys heads up, that's what this video is all about. Uh, part one. So, I have three parts to this, and they're on my whiteboard right here. If you can see it, I'm gonna go over them. Armor fire team makeover. Part one. Hobby Wing Max Six G Two combo. Uh, the newer one that just came out. Uh, the 1650 kV motor and the 200 amp ESC. That's part one. Part two will be new body and panels. Um, I'm going to replace this panels with newer ones. So when I'm going to do some bashing out in the back 40 with it, that would have new panels, but I'm going to get the clear panels for when I have the urge to take it out for a street run, because I do have this urge to take this thing out for a street run once I get the new combo in. All right, and part three will be new tires and wheels. So I don't know if I'm gonna do power hobby or go with the street sweepers again, but that is my plan for the fire team for a new makeover and everything else. So, so we're about to start part one right now. And part one again will be the Hobby Wing Max 6. G2 combo. Don't worry, there's no test to pass. Just live, stop taking, just learn to give, stop blaming them and learn to forgive. I'll carry on doing my thing, I'll carry on doing my thing to return into a move. Energy, 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 wow. To the energy, 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 wow. For the energy, 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 wow. To the energy, energy, energy. All right, so let's discuss this Max 6 G2 real quick. So it's Bluetooth. Uh, it's 8S LiPo compatible, 200 amp ESC. Uh, by what I've read, it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to have more, better control with straight line jump, straight line uh, takeoffs, uh, mid-air jumps, better handling in the air and everything else. Also, it has a 15 degrees cooler. It's supposed to run 15 degrees cooler than the, the Max 6G1. Uh, again, the built in Bluetooth. As you can see right here, there's Bluetooth signal and sign. <laughs> Powerful ESC or BEC. Um, it says it's supposed to be able to, it handles 25 amps. So you can go from 6.6 .6 volts to 7.4 to 8.4 volts now. So you have better, you have more adjustability with your depending on what type of uh, servo you're running. You can run a 7.4 volt, 6, 6 volt, 7.4 volt, and an 8.4 volt servo. You just have to adjust it in here through the Bluetooth module or the Bluetooth uh, app that you have on your phone or your tablet or laptop, however you got it set up. Uh, also, let's see what else. They give you the best motors to get, go, go with it. Um, again, you have the 4990, 1650 kV motor that's paired with it. It comes in a combo or you can buy them separately. Sensor, so you know, everything is being programmed through the ESC, even the motor, how high the temperature gets on the motor, everything else. It senses that and if you have it on your, your app on your phone, you can actually read and see what the temperature is for the motor and the ESC BEC. So you can shut it down when you need to shut it down before it goes a thermal shut off. It's supposed to get like at least 20% efficiency through this motor. Um, more performance if i can get better performance out of it that's what i'm looking for especially for the big fire team so again we're going to figure this out or, you know together everyone um like i said again we're going to get this inside the fire team set it up get it programmed and everything else i'm going to have to use the app for that and then uh tomorrow we're going to take it out for a rip and see how it actually performs <laughs> All right, so now that everything's installed, I'm going now to do the perimeters. One more, we got four reverse and back, lipo, low voltage, auto, uh, motor rate rotation, kind of clockwise. BEC, that's gonna be set to seven for now. 
Max break four, 62%. We're gonna take that down to 37.5%. Hit OK. Maximum reverse, ver, reverse force, uh, 25%. We're going to do, let's do, yes, keep it at 25. Uh, punch level, punch level. We're going to go, we're going to stick with the punch level five for now. See how that works. Drag break zero, initial throttle, 1%, turbo timing, turbo delay, 2.2 seconds. Turbo timing, let's see what that is. Hmm. Let's do that later on. All right, now that we got the motor and the ESC installed, I'll worry about the cable management after I set up the ESC. Trim is on. Fail safe is on to zero for throttle. All right, so turn on the ESC, hold it down for three seconds. Push the button once while the uh, trigger is in neutral position. Get that one beep. Pull the trigger all the way to the rear. Press it again. Give the two beeps for throttle forward. Push the trigger to the reverse. Push it again. Get the three beeps. And there you go, everything's set up. All right, let's get this puppy button back up, get the wire management cables, get the cables managed, and then uh, yeah, yeah. take it off for a test rip, all right? See you soon. Oh, look at that slow roll. Oh my goodness. All right, this is slow roll here. Sensor motor. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh Jesus, she's wild. <laughs> you no, know, no big Bertha today. I want to see how she acts with the uh, new Max Six Gen Gen Two. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I have to. All right, let's, let's, let's set up the punch setting real quick. That was punch five. I didn't have any air control. <laughs> oh, okay. Go on the ESC Wi Fi. Okay, connect. Let's put the punch to seven. Save. Are you sure you want to save perimeter? Yes, save. Save successfully. All right. Okay, let's see next time. <laughs> let's, hope, let's hope this doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. Now let's see how much control I have. Let's go gentle first. There we go. Ooh, same feet. <laughs> oh, that one area. I need to stay away from there. If if you guys really think I'm doing this purposely, I am not. <laughs> I know I keep saying she's my beast, my she's almost indestructible, but. Um, I'm trying to figure out how much control I actually have. Yeah, I need to stay away from, from the far left side. Because <laughs> all that's uneven. There we go. 
fast, two to last, two to hearts. And it's rolled it straight off the mask. Two to last, two to last, two to last, two to last. See what I mean? But uneven, even if she lands right, right. Six accelerates. I just, I just love that slow roll there. Oh yeah, almost like a crawler. <laughs> all right, ten satellites. So, all right, track start. All right, she's catching. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. This is Woo Okay. Stop. Breeze. Fifty five miles an hour. I think the last one was forty five, forty seven like that. Jeez, okay. Catching. <laughs> All right, here she comes. And she's kicking up a lot of Jesus. <laughs> For her to do a willy like, oh my god, I don't know if I got that or not. <laughs> Ooh, stop. Three. 49. <laughs> okay. One more time. <laughs> Off road. Track. Alright, she's, she's catching. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this thing. I like don't like a, a shark coming out of the water. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you guys why in a minute I'm laughing. 53, so she'll get up to about 50, 50, 55 miles an hour. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing. It was, I'm, I'm a, oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't get a full throttle. Pinion girl, I wouldn't be able to do that. It'd have been nose heavy. It would have been any correction at all. That's what the tree was at, wasn't it? Yeah. Dead grass and dirt, so it doesn't really grip. All right, so here we go again. Too fast, too constellation and stars. 
I think this is a great, great combination for the fire team. Really, any seven scale vehicle that you're pushing. A little bit weight, but not like a, a fifth scale. Now, some people are going to try to put this in a fifth scale. I would recommend that. Uh, the pinion shaft is not thick enough to run an eighth of fifth scale vehicle like that. It's only five millimeters thick. Again, why you think an eight millimeter shaft was designed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Eight millimeter shaft was designed for motors four, fifth scale, six scale, and anything else larger than the fifth scale. But if you want to go ahead and put it in there, go ahead and put it in there. It's got enough power. Ooh, that was on me, girl. Ooh, that was on me. Ooh. That was on me, girl. That was on me. Oh, yeah. So, initial thoughts. Good motor for 7th scale. Good ESC for the 7th scale. Anything heavier than an 8th scale or larger 7th scale. Uh, you can run it in a 5th scale if you want to. I would not recommend it. Again, this is a five millimeter shaft on the motor, and it's not designed to give that much torque like that on the fifth scale, fourth scale. Sixth and seventh scale, yes. But other than that, I wouldn't run this in a, like the Creighton 8S or the Outcast 8S, or not even the uh, Praxis X Max. I wouldn't run it in that. That's just, that was just, that, that is just me though. That's my opinion. Part of the motor. Two sixteen, two seventeen, middle part. The back end, two twenty. Yep. So the heat is dissipating, but again, I'm not going to be doing this again with this. I just wanted to see for the first time what would happen, how far you can actually take this. Uh, if I if I destroyed the motor, I, I'll, that's on me. That's just on me. I'm just going to show you guys. You can put it in the seventh scale and sixth scale vehicle. It'll run fine. Again, I ran it hard all the way. Speed runs up and down, jumps, flips. It, I mean, it turning and flipping all over the place. Um, so that's just it, everyone. You got to be careful with these ESC motors. It can only take so much. And like some people would say. Check your temps every once in a while, let it cool down. If you get like to 198 and you check your temps, let it cool down for about a minute or two and then start back up again. Just keep it on your temp. So that's me. For me, uh, my suggestion is if you're gonna run this, run this with a uh, on the fire team, vent some holes, take some of the panels off if you want to, uh, or make holes where the fan can get some cool and fresh air. Other than that, um, you guys seen what I did to it. Um, and so far, she's good to go. That's a little bent. Uh, so, yeah. She did up well. She held up well. Uh, again, I'm surprised I didn't crack any A-arms. I did crack that front diff housing uh, cover. The back one's still good. Yep, no cracks on that one yet. Still good. Holding up. Chassis still is free from all that tumbles. She's still original. Yep, she's still good to go. It's, it's, a, it's a game changer, this one is. Especially for it to be for the sixth scale and seventh scale vehicles. You can put in the eighth scale, might be too much for it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna stick with 160 amp ESC for the eighth scale. I don't wanna destroy any gears or anything like that. But yeah. All right, everyone, so you know the deal. Like, share, and subscribe. That's all I'm asking you to do, all right? Me and the fire team, we're out. Put your body back on, girl. Take you in the house, clean you up. And I think it's time to order a new, yep, the panels are done. Oh my goodness, look at that. They are done, Al. All right, all right, everyone, we're out. <laughs> Woo, let's go, girl.